Well, this building being a historic building had several design challenges for the, uh, for the design team. The developer wanted to do a three-star hotel and uh, they wanted to do a Hampton Inn, which falls under Hilton. And so we were challenged with maximizing the number of hotel rooms. Where VRF fit in for this specific building was the fact that it's a landmark building and they could not penetrate the outside walls. So they couldn't use a PTAC, which is Hampton Inn's brand standard. The entire building is VRF from the lower level up through the upper level. What's great about this setup is that we have heating and cooling year round. A lot of places don't have that. A lot of places have to have, wait till the boilers switch on, they have to worry about outside air. It can be as hot as it will ever get in Chicago and we'll be okay. And it can get as cold as it's gonna get and we'll also be okay. On a building like Motor Club that was built in the 1920s, the advantage of running small refrigerant lines through the building was very appealing as opposed to trying to install new ductwork. It doesn't take up a lot of space. That's a huge benefit of VRF because, you know, from the condensing units on the roof to the evaporators in the hotel rooms, we're running refrigerant pipes that are, you know, at the largest an inch and three eighths. If you look up at the roof where we've got uh, the condensing units that serve floors 15 down to four, which is the majority of this building, those condensers take up literally 30 square feet total. And then we've got the art cool mirror in the actual hotel rooms. The horizontal art cool mirror, this is actually a really nice option because it gives that little edge, that little twist where an architect can say, okay, I like that. It allows every room to have independent control in terms of temperature without modifying any other parts of the building. They're some of the most user-friendly units that I've ever worked with in my career. Uh, the guests love them, the engineering department loves them. They're uh, high tech, they're quiet. They're very clean. Typically, a hotel's biggest concern is noise with an HVAC system. A lot of the complaints are generated from noise. And the great thing about the VRF system and the LG art cools that we do have in the rooms are the guests tend to not even notice them. The thing is, you can't hear it. You know, the developer will say to me, Joe, no, turn it on. And I go, it is on. No, turn it on high. It is on as high as it goes. And they laugh and they kind of say, you're kidding. There's no uh, air ducts to clean, uh, very few filters, just the one filter in the room. We're not worried about bringing in outside air. The filters pretty much pop in and out. It's very simple. You don't need a whole set of tools and an HVAC technician to get into the, the unit. What VRF does is it, says, it basically has a checkpoint where if someone wants cooling and someone wants heating, they'll say, all right, we're going to make this guy cooling, but rather than just dump that heating out to atmosphere, we're going to see if they can use it first. If they can use it, then they'll shift it over for free energy transfer into the heating zone. What this allows the occupant and owner to do is reuse energy that they